On this episode of Ready e Academy, our buddies will learn about a math concept called number bonds through a fun game of bowling. Hi, mommies! This is Teacher Liza of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program, where we believe that learning can be fun, meaningful, and exciting. Here at Galileo, we provide your little buddies with learning experiences about the world through creative, imaginative, and meaningful activities. Welcome to our classroom! In today's lesson, we will learn about the basics of addition and subtraction while creating a fun game of bowling that you and your buddies can play at home. Before we start, let's drink Chucky! We will be needing 10 of these facts for today's activity. So why not share the Chucky with all of your home buddies? Here are the materials for today's activity. Pebbles, double-sided tape, scissors, whiteboard, whiteboard markers, eraser, ball, and 10 Chucky Tetra Packs. When we're done drinking Chucky, it's time to cut open the top part of our Chucky Tetra Pack with the use of our scissors. But please be very careful in handling your scissors. And when we're done cutting the top portion, we're going to be washing it and drying it. And afterwards, it's going to look like this. It's now time to put pebbles inside our Chucky Tetra Pack. We will fill out one-fourth of our Tetra Pack. And then we are going to be sealing our tetra pack with an adhesive. Let's close this. And then seal it with an adhesive. Let's cut the other end with the use of our scissors. Now that we are done with our first Tetra Pack, we just need to do 9 more to be able to play this game. And they're all going to look like these. We will be playing two kinds of bowling. For our first activity, we will be stacking our Chucky Packs into a pyramid on the floor like this one. And then let your child stand at a distance away from the pyramid and then throw the ball towards the pyramid. The goal is to knock over as many packs as possible in the least number of throws. Now I'll let you in on a little secret. If you want to knock down as many packs as possible in a single throw, all you have to do is aim for the bottom layer of our pyramid. This activity helps develop your little buddy's hand-eye coordination, strategy, and even remind them of our very first lesson on balance. Now let's try it! Let's stand at a distance away from the pyramid, aim for the bottom layer of our pyramid, and throw. There you have it! Through this activity, we can teach the basics of addition through a math strategy called number bonds. Number bonds show how numbers can be broken down into component parts. It is a number sense skill that kids need in order to understand addition and subtraction. On our whiteboard, let's write the number bonds diagram. Let's start by drawing a circle right here on top. And then we will be making two more circles right below it. Let's connect these two circles to our top circle. Our 10 chalky packs represent the whole number. So we're going to write the number 10 right here on the top circle. Now we have our number bonds diagram with the number 10 as the whole number. Now let's play and throw the ball. 
Now let's see how many bags remain standing and how many bags were knocked over. Let's start with counting the number of bags that were knocked over. Let's start with one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we will be writing that number down inside one circle on our number bond diagram. Now this time, we will also be counting the number of packs that remain standing. Let's start with one, two, three, and four. We will also be writing that number down inside one circle in our number bond diagram. This is where you can teach your little buddy about addition through number bonds. You can say that four and six make ten. Or you could also convert that into an addition sentence by saying 4 plus 6 equals 10. Now we can even break down the number bond further by attempting to knock over more packs. Let's try to throw this ball and knock over more packs. There! Let's see how many packs remain standing and how many packs were knocked over. On my second attempt, I was able to knock over one more pack. And 3 remain standing. So we can write the numbers 1 and 3 below the number 4 on our number bond diagram. We can even make an addition sentence for 4 by saying 1 plus 3 equals 4. Also, we can make an addition sentence for 10 using the parts that we have on our number bond diagram. So that would be 6 and 1 and 3 make 10. We can even convert it into an addition sentence by saying 6 plus 1 plus 3 equals 10. Did you know that grade schoolers grow and develop at a fast pace? Kaya pagdating sa baon nila, bigyan mo sila ng love nilang Chucky. Milk siya, tilang chocolate, with the nutrients your child needs for school and play. Minsan lang sila bata, ipabaon mo na. On to our next activity! This time, we will be arranging the Chucky packs on the floor like in a bowling alley. So we have to put four packs at the back, three right in front of it, two, and then one in front. Each player gets to have three turns in rolling the ball to try to knock down as many packs as possible. Whoever knocks down the most number of packs with the least number of tries wins. Now that we know how to use the number bonds for addition, let's learn about the number bonds for subtraction. Let's start by creating the number bonds diagram. Now we have created the number bonds diagram for subtraction with the number 10 as our whole number. Let's roll! Now I have knocked over two bags. Let's write the number 2 below the number 10 on our number bond diagram. Now let's ask your little buddies how many more packs should I knock over to be able to win. This is where we can teach them about subtraction through number bonds. On our diagram, we are missing one number. So we could write a number sentence for subtraction and that would mean 10 minus 2 equals… This time, we are going to count the number of remaining packs to be able to know the answer. Let's count the remaining packs still standing. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 is the number that will complete our number sentence. With the help of this diagram, our buddies will be able to visualize how numbers can be broken down into parts. It can also allow them to easily know the answer without having to calculate. And there you have it! A fun, active, and exciting way to allow your buddies to learn about addition and subtraction visually and kinesthetically through number bonds and bowling made fun with Chucky. For more ideas, head on to the Ready Academy playlist at the Nestle Philippines channel where you can see fun and meaningful activities updated every week. This has been Teacher Liza of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program and I'll see you again in the next Ready Academy. My chocolatey buddy! Nestle. Good food, good life.